Welcome dear students. Today through this video we are going to solve the most important MCQs of Computer Study Standard 10th English Medium Chapter Number 5. Same like other MCQ videos, this video is also prepared with the help of a student whose name is Naomi Soni, who is studying in Standard 10th in Fatima Convent High School, Bhavnagar. She is a brilliant student. She is specially devoting her time to the noble cause of contributing towards this YouTube channel with a selfless motive. It is her second uh, appearance on YouTube channel. Therefore, I expect that you all student encourage her by watching and liking the video. So let's begin. Introduction to Calci Number 1 Workbook is a collection of dash Option A Row Option B Column Option C Worksheet Option D Both A and B The correct answer is Option C Worksheet Number 2 Worksheet is a collection of dash Option A Row Option B Column Option C Both A and B Option D Workbook the correct answer is option C, both A and B, that is row and column. Number 3. A dash is an intersection of row and column. Option A, workbook. Option B, worksheet. Option C, cell. Option D, all of the given. The correct answer is option C, cell. Number 4. Which of the following type of package does Calci refer to? Option A. Spreadsheet Option B. Multi-sheet Option C. Double sheet Option D. Cannot be determined The correct answer is Option A. Spreadsheet Number 5. Which of the following applications are not suitable for Calci? Option A. Balance sheet preparation Option B. Result analysis Option C. Presenting an idea about a product Option D. All of the given The correct answer is Option C. Presenting an idea about a product Number 6. Calci program is used for creating which of the following document? Option A. Graphic Option B. Spreadsheet Option C. Letter Option D. None of the given The correct answer is Option B. Spreadsheet Number 7. Dash bar shows the name of the program. Option A. Formatting Option B. Title Option C. Tool Option D. Formula The correct answer is Option B. Title Number 8. Dash menu contains editing commands such as Cut, Copy, Paste, Find and Replace, etc. Option A. File Option B. Edit Option C. View Option D. Insert The correct answer is Option B. Edit Number 9. Operations such as data processing, data sorting, data filtering, etc. are performed by dash menu. Option A. Edit Option B. Tools Option C. Window Option D. Data The correct answer is Option D. Data Number 10 Dash displays the address of the active cell Option A. 
name box that is address box option b formula bar option c status bar option d all of the given the correct answer is option a name box that is address box number 11 which of the following display content of an active cell option a title bar option b status bar option c menu bar option d formula bar the correct answer is option d formula bar number 12 a dash is the basic element of a spreadsheet option a name box option b cell option c formula bar option d worksheet the correct answer is option b cell number 13 the cell whose border is thick and dark black is known as dash option a dark cell option b active cell option c formula cell option d none of the given the correct answer is option b active cell number 14 by default calci spreadsheet contains dash worksheets option a 1 option b 2 option c 3 option d 4 the correct answer is option c 3 number 15 in calci dash displays the name of an active cell option a formula bar option b name box option c column header option d row header the correct answer is option b name box number 16 there are maximum dash worksheets per calci spreadsheet document option a 255 option b 256 option c 250 option d 265 the correct answer is option b 256 number 17 number 17 which of the following is the extension of a worksheet created in calci option a dot ods option b dot odd option c dot xls option d dot obj the correct answer is option a dot ods number 18 dash are stored in the left side of the cell in calci option a numbers option b formulas option c letters option d all of the given the correct answer is option c letters number 19 dash are stored in the right side of the cell in calci option a numbers option b formulas option c letters option d all of the given the correct answer is option a numbers number 20 how can one calculate total of values entered in a worksheet in a calci document option a by manual entry option b by auto sum option c by formula option d all of the given the correct answer is option d all of the given number 21 if we move a cell containing a formula having reference to another cell in the worksheet what will happen to the cell numbers used in formula option a the cell row and columns are changed at destination option b 
the cell row numbers are changed at destination. Option C, the cell column numbers are changed at destination. Option D, nothing will be changed. The correct answer is Option A, the cell row and columns are changed at destination. Number 22, dash presents facilities for entering and editing formula within a cell. Option A, formula toolbar. Option B, formatting toolbar. Option C, standard toolbar. Option D, all of the given. The correct answer is Option A, formula toolbar. Number 23. Which of the following will be inserted in a worksheet if equals to star calci team open round bracket close round bracket is inserted in a calci cell? Now before going to the online test, in the comment section, please inform me whether you like this type of MCQ videos or not. According to your comments, I will decide whether to prepare this type of videos for all the chapters or not. Now we come to the second part of the video that is the online test. All those students who have given this type of test in the previous chapter may skip this part of the video and start answering the online test and rest of the students who are answering the test for the first time may continue watching the video. A link is given in the description of this video. As soon as you click on that link, this type of online test will start. Now at present I am explaining you through a tutorial video of chapter number 2 English medium computer studies standard 10th online test. Now the first thing is you have to answer your name here which is a compulsory thing. You may answer your real name or your fake name it doesn't make any difference. Another thing the marks which you get in this test will be not will not be disclosed to the public it will remain secure only you will come to know how many marks you are getting so first thing is you have to enter your name second uh, you will have to answer each question one correct answer carries one point so at present i am uh, just clicking on any of the answers okay i am not just clicking on the correct options but i am clicking anywhere to explain you that like this way you will have to answer the test Now all answering all the questions is a compulsory thing. You cannot skip any of the question. For example, this test which I am answering is of uh, some 20 or 24 or 25 marks. Then I will have to answer all the questions and that is a compulsory thing. So I have reached the 15 question. Just now I will finish answering all the questions. And thereafter I have to click, to click on the submit button as soon as i click on the submit button i will get my marks generally we all are worried about when will we get the results when will we get our marks right so here as soon as you click on this uh, thing that is submit button you will get your marks see here is the submit button i have finished answering all the questions so i click here so this thing will come view score okay how many marks I am getting so I will click on view score so it is displaying that 18 out of 24 now another bet benefit of this type of test is it will show you that which answers you have answered incorrectly for example question number two was answered incorrectly so it shows me red color cross and the question is also marked in red and the answer which I have given is also marked here so like this way you will come to know that which which questions answer you are not able to answer correctly. Now here I have not kept a provision that if this is the wrong answer then this is the correct answer. I have not kept that provision for that you will have to watch the video again. Now the main benefit of this test is at the time of exams when you want to revise all the chapters 
then you can answer all this test and you will be able to revise all the chapters very easily and at the time of exams uh, i am going to keep a provision in this test like that way that if any of the answer is wrong for example this answer is wrong then it will also prompt you for the correct answer so at once you will not have to watch the video even to know the correct answer so this is all about the online test now you go to the description of this video and click on the link another thing please don't forget to type in the comment section whether i should conduct this type of test and this type of uh, uh, mcq solving videos or not thank you here we complete this video if you like the video please hit the like button and we meet in the next video thank you goodbye